Hola. Hiya. Hey, Aubrey and Brian here. We took our truck down to Mexico for about a month and we've been working and living out of it. So we wanted to give you a tour of what it all looks like. Follow us, we'll show you the workshop and the truck tour. Okay, so this is our off-grid work setup. We use the Boss Tipman hand stitcher. It's been so nice because you don't need any electricity to make it work. You just pull this handle and it'll crank it all down for you. So we've been making some leather passports, some bags, all of the goodies, all from the beach. It's been really wonderful. What's up guys? Let me show you our sleep system and our bed platform and storage setup. For the bed platform and storage setup, we went with band beds. They are phenomenal. This is the birch woods um, setup. And if you can see here in the back, there's two separate boards here. Actually, there's three that go all the way back. This is a six foot Toyota Tacoma. The option for those three separate boards is you can take them out and build their couch. They offer a couch setup. So while you're posted at a place, it's ideal for your leisure. Second, they have a storage slider system. Um, it is a great way for efficiently storing all of your gear, especially if you're tote people like we are. Uh, this, like I said, this is the Birchwood. It's beautiful. They also offer bamboo. And let's see. Second, our mattress setup. We went with Hess mattress. It's temperature resistant for hot and cold. It's absolutely phenomenal. This is, like I said, the six foot Toyota Tacoma. So they call this the, the, the long bed dually, I think is what they call this mattress. And it's sewn together, there's two mattresses here. It's sewn together on a piano hinge stitch line. So when you are wanting more space, you can fold this in half, and then you have this whole other side of the truck for surfboards, gear, et cetera, et cetera. And it's very easy to unflip and, and close and open and whatnot. Uh, there is no sinking on the seam line. When both of us are in bed, there is zero like gap between each mattress. And it is super comfy, like I would say better than my mattress at home <laughs> uh let's see third pro so yeah for charging all of our cameras and dive equipment and lights and whatnot we went with power republic um battery pack charger it's super lightweight can be charged by solar also be charged um, in your vehicle when you're driving um, and it, it kicks out quite a bit of power pretty fast it off offers all sorts of different um setups for charging we only use like three or four of them, but I'm curious to know what all these other ones are. It's phenomenal. It also offers light on the back. Pink. That's our uh, truck system setup, sleep and storage. Oh yeah, curtains are made by yours truly, Aubrey and I on the sewing machine. They are some sort of like Mexican blanket fabric that I found offline. Let me show you our roof rack setup. So up top, we store all of our water. We went with giant loop canteens. They're a collapsible container. And then we also have our yak tracks, shovel, and giant loop also has this big bag, a fuel blivet or a fuel bag, and it can collapse down and roll up when you're done. So whenever we're super off grid in Baja, we can fill up with an extra five gallons and then collapse it and put it away. But that's our, uh, that's our roof rack setup. Pretty simple, straightforward. Okay, so when we aren't on the road and we figured out a camp spot, we put all of our paddle boards, our fins, our dive gear, all that good stuff up front. When we are on the road, we have these really awesome nets by Flatiron. Uh, this one's a center console one where we can keep our phones, maps, all that good stuff. And then this attic is really nice for sweatshirts or snacks as well. It's also super cool because if you're laying in bed, you have extra storage to reach back into the cab and get it. And especially with Ike taking up all this room here, and this is his bedroom, we needed something to give us a little extra storage up front. Okay guys, so that was the whole truck bed setup from roof rack to storage systems to bed setup. We're We've stuck. been here about yeah. for 28 days and it's been working really well for us. 28 so days, plenty of sleep. Hopefully this gives you some inspo. Sandy toes, it's been great. Baja's been amazing. Asta. La Vista.